Hi everyone, welcome back to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender, and this is my kitchen series. So we are gonna make a Flamingo Milanese, which originates from Rita's Tiki Room in Milan, which is the stomping ground or the home ground of Campari. The reason I really wanted to try this one is because it has quite a polarizing mix of flavors and ingredients. It, on paper, this sounds extremely strange to me. Uh, it's got Campari, a cachaça, Galliano original, some lime oleosaccharum, which I'll touch base on later on, and absinthe. Like, to me, on paper, this sounds strange. So I wanna try it, because I feel like it could be one of those drinks that um, surprises me. So let's get straight onto the, to the drink and get shaking. So this one calls for 45 mil, 1.5 ounces of Campari. And then thanks to David for purchasing the uh, Le Blonde Cachaça with By the Back Bar. So 15 mil, half an ounce of Cachaça. And to be honest guys, up until recently, I didn't actually realize that there was uh, two different versions of the, the yellow Galliano. There's a, a vanilla and the authentic or the original version, which is this one. I actually never knew it. Uh, I feel embarrassed to say it. And up until about five minutes ago, it was the first time that I tried this one. I think it's just in Australia, there's only really been access to the vanilla Galliano, uh, but the vanilla Galliano is about 30%. It still has uh, 30 botanicals and spices, but it's more vanilla forward. This one is 42% or 42.3, which is a little bit stronger and it has stronger anise notes as well as the vanilla. So. I was quite surprised. Learn something new every day. So 10 mil, one third of an ounce of your original Galliano. Then we have a lime oleosaccharum. So I'll leave the recipe in the description below, but essentially it's sugar with lime peel rested until it extracts the oils from the lime peel and then lime juice added into it and mix in. I'll give the portions down below, the proportions, so you can make it yourself. So 10 mil, one third of an ounce of your lime oleo, and it tastes wicked as well. So definitely worth trying that one. And then we've got some fresh lime. Ten mil, one third of an ounce. Do a shake with ice and give it a shake for about 12, 15 seconds. and don't forget your two dashes of absinthe. Now I'm using a chilled glass. This one's come straight from the freezer, hence why it's nice and frosted. I've always said chewy glasses in the past, I've used ice. That's purely out of convenience because I've been in a warehouse when I've been filming, but I'll probably be more inclined considering that I've got a fridge right next to me that I'll store this in the freezer and it's nice and easy to, to transfer and make drinks this way. But no matter how you do it, make sure you chew your glasses. I'm leaving this ungarnished, but if you want, you could put a twist of lime on it. They have a Flamingo Milanese, cheers. It really is a mishmash of flavors. Not saying that that's a bad thing. There's a lot going on. Surprising that the Campari isn't overly bitter, but it comes through as a dryness. And you've got a lot of anise notes from uh, both the original Galliano and the, the absinthe. It's quite pleasant. Like I said, there's a lot going on. It's an intriguing cocktail. I mean, if I was in Italy in a tiki bar and I was served this, I would love it because it's it's set for its environment. It's a tiki bar. Uh, it's got those citrus notes. It's got the, the lime. Uh, it's got the cachaça and then Campari from, from its hometown in Milan. So in that environment, I'd really like it. 
Will I make it again? I'm not too sure. I still appreciate this drink. It's just a mishmash of flavors. Again, that's not a bad thing. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers. Thank you.